Hello everyone. My topic is prenatal ultrasonographic detection of sacrococcygeal teratoma, a case report. Myself, Dr. Shivani Dabade, I am junior resident at Government Medical College, Miraj. Sacrococcygeal teratoma is a rare tumor that arises from embryonic germ cells. It is the most common congenital tumor in fetus and neonates with an incidence of 1 in 35,000 to 40,000 live births. There is recognized female predilection with male to female ratio of 1 is to 4. Sacrococcygeal teratoma arises from embryonic germ cells that are normally present in sacrococcygeal region. They are thought to arise from totipotent cells from the node of Hansen at the anterior aspect of the coccyx by about the second to third weeks of gestation. Thus, the tumor is composed of all three germ cells that is ectoderm, mesoderm and endoderm. At prenatal ultrasound, majority of these tumors are seen solid or mixed cystic and solid, external caudal mass. High fetal mortality is seen due to complications such as high out, uh, output heart failure resulting from arteri arteriovenous communication with subsequent polyhydrominous and hydrops. I am presenting you a case of uh, 22 years old primary gravida with 5 weeks of amenorrhea came to the obstetric OPD for routine examination at our institution. On general examination, her BP was 110 by 70 mm of H. Pulse rate was 82 BPM and there was no pallor or icterus. On clinical examination, respiratory or cardiovascular system was normal. Her abdomen examination showed a relaxed uterus of 15 to 20 weeks. Blood investigations revealed complete blood count, blood sugar level, liver function test, kidney function test within normal limits. She was advised second trimester prenatal ultrasonography as a part of routine in investigation. Her previous prenatal ultrasonograms detected no abnormalities. There was no history of consanguineous marriage and no history of anomalous babies in both sides of the families. A two-dimensional ultrasound examination was performed in our institution on Philips Affinity 50 ultrasonography equipment which revealed a single life pregnancy of 20 weeks, 5 days, with fetus presenting a 20, 31 by 29 by 23 mm solid cystic mass seen arising below the lower end of sacrococcygeal region, extending as exophytic mass externally. On color Doppler, there was internal flow within the solid component. The mass was predominantly external with minimal presacral component. Tricuspid regurgitation was noted with structurally normal heart. Middle cerebral artery peak velocity, systolic velocity was 0.86 mOm. No ultrasonographic evidence of fetal anemia was present. Both lateral ventricles appeared normal. No evidence of intracranial lesion was identified. Vertebral spine and spinal canal appeared normal. She was concerned for termination of pregnancy to avoid the complications. After the termination of pregnancy, the prenatal ultrasonographic diagnosis of type 1 SCT was confirmed clinically. This is the figure 1, uh, show, uh, which is sagittal section on ultrasound showing a solid cystic tumor mass arising from sacrococcygeal region of fetus suggestive of uh, sacrococcygeal teratoma. Figure 2 shows sagittal section on ultrasound showing intrapelvic uh, which is so, uh, shown by a white arrow and extrapelvic shown by red arrow sacrococcygeal mass. Figure 3 is sagittal section ultrasound image with Doppler showing internal vascularity of the mass. Figure 4 and 5 are the gross specimens of male fetus with type 1 GCT, uh, type 1 SCT confirming the findings of ultrasonography. Sacrococcygeal teratoma is an extragonadal germ cell tumor that develops in the fetal and neonatal periods. Sacrococcygeal teratoma is a type 1 germ cell tumor in which only teratoma and yolk sac tumors arise from the extragonadal sites. It is believed to originate through epigenetic repro reprogramming of early primordial germ cells migrating from the yolk sac to the gonadal regions. These cells fail to migrate 
potent from the control of embryonic inductors differentiate into various tissues which are aberrant to sacrococcygeal region and thus gives rise to sacrococcygeal teratoma. The association of sacrococcygeal teratoma with the common location of sacrococcygeal region is thought to be due to the large number of pluripotential cells which are usually found in the caudal regions of the embryo closely associated with the distal sacrum and cocx. SCTs are either benign match, which are mature or malignant which are immature composed of embryonic elements. Mature teratomas are more common in both neonates that is 68% and older children that is 73%. According to Hickey and Latin, there is a definite propensity for the sacrococcygeal teratoma to undergo malignant change, usually after four months of life, but apparently infrequently after childhood. It cannot be foretold clinically which teratoma has malignant potentials. Classification of sacrococcygeal teratoma The SCT will be subdivided and classified according to their location. Type 1 tumors predominantly external, sacrococcygeal, with only a minimal presacral component. Type 2 are tumors presenting externally but with a significant intrapelvic extension. Type 3 are the tumors where apparent externally but the predominant mass was pelvic and extended into the abdomen. Type 4 are the presacral with no external presentation. On imaging findings, uh, it is crucial to make an early prenatal diagnosis of SCT since mortality is inversely related to the gestational age at the time of diagnosis. Later, the diagnosis is made worse the prognosis. It is possible to determine the local localization and size of SCT along the degree of involvement of intrapelvic structures with sonograph. The teratomas exhibit three sonographic patterns. Mixtures of cystic and solid components in equal proportions, predominantly solid with few scattered unechoic areas, and unilocular cystic masks. The sonographic appearance of the SCT can vary as it depends on multiple components of the tumor like calcification, sol uh, cystic component, necrosis, and intratumoral hemorrhage. The increased echogenicity with post-acoustic shadowing can signify the dystrophic calcification in the areas of hemorrhage or rudimentary fragments of maldeveloped bones. Now we will come to the differential diagnosis. Despite the fact that the prenatal diagnosis could be done with certainty, the major sonographic differential diagnosis should include anterior or posterior meningomyelocytes, conjoint twins, especially in large tumors, hemangioma, and neuroectodermal cysts. Cystic sacrococcygeal teratomas detected at prenatal ultrasound may be confused with meningomyelocytes. However, Meningocils uh, are usually seen superior to the level of sacrococcygeal region and the septations are uncommon in cystic mass as it is often seen with teratoma. In sacrococcygeal teratoma, sacrum is usually intact although dystrophic changes might be present. Also, there is a rare possibility that meningocil and teratoma may coexist. A dumbbell shift Sac uh, sacrococcygeal teratoma may be mistaken for a hemangioma or a lipoma. In such a dilemma, imaging studies, either CT or MRI imaging, help to define the deep extent of the lesion and help suggest the true, uh, true diagnosis. In the case of a presacral mass, if it is purely cystic lesion, the differential diagnosis should include a rectal duplication cyst and anterior meningocyl. However, Unlike teratomas, these cystic masses are usually not multiloculated and do not contain fat or calcification. Neuroblastoma should be the primary consideration if the mass is solid. Large teratomas has a high perinatal mortality rate pertaining to high output 
heart failure resulting from arteriovenous communication with subsequent polyhydrominous and hydrops. Additional secondary issues that need to be considered are the amount of intrapelvic tumor with bladder obstruction, hydronephrosis, ureteral dilatation, and tumor rupture. Gastrointestinal obstruction may also occur due to pelvic compression by the tumor. Prenatally diagnosed sacrococcygeal teratomas have a total perinatal mortality of 54%, uh, which is uh, due to pregnancy termination, intrauterine death, and neonatal death. Now coming to treatment and prognosis. To monitor the fetal growth and tumor size and to assess for the development of hydrop, serial and antenatal sonography should be utilized. Volume reduction amniocentesis and tocolysis may be required to treat symptomatic polyhydrominous and prevent preterm delivery. However, surgical excision includes of coccygectomy with additional chemotherapy is the mainstay for malignant tumors. Sacrococcygeal and pharyngeal teratomas are not thought to be inherited in Mendelian or polygenic fashion. It is therefore important to reassure patients that they are not at increased risk of bearing another child with these lesions. Thank you.